Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. Welcome back to another Impactful Review. We are looking at the Impact Wrestling episode from September 23rd. Um, obviously coming off of the heels of Victory Road. Um, we'll see what this has in store on the road now to Bound for Glory. Um, we do start off the show with a small video package from Victory Road. Jump right to the ring with Scott Demore. Uh, calls out Josh Alexander, who um, at Victory Road after Christian retained the Impact World Championship, uh, Alexander came to the ring, um, and all he said was "Bound for Glory, Option C." Um, and for those that are not aware of what Option C fully means, um, we go. Th th this is the whole first about fifteen minutes of the show here. Um, the whole, the whole segment. Um, so Josh Alexander relinquishes the Exhibition Championship in exchange, uh, for being the immediate number one contender to the Impact World Championship. It guarantees him a championship match. Um, we get Christian come, come down, uh, talks down him a little bit. Uh, then we get Ace Austin and Madman Fulton come down and Ace Austin says he was this close. Um... We has fight. Um, Ace Austin and Madman Fulton come out on top. Cut to the back. Rich Swan and Willie Mack in the back, reminding everyone, including themselves, how they fell short um, against the Good Brothers. Um, and then immediately just redirect uh, to the X Division Championship. Um, and there's going to be a lot of uh, call your shot gauntlet. Um, Chit chat in the in this episode, um, which is the annual match they have at Bound for Glory. Uh, you win the Bound for Glory trophy, um, and you can essentially cash in on any championship you want. Last year, Rhino, as a member of VBD, um, cashed in, and him and Joe Doring won the tag team championships. So we come back. Christian Cage is going to check by by the doctor. Um, so we get Josh, we get the announcement of Ace Austin versus Josh Alexander for our main event. Excellent. <laughs> um, match number one of the evening, though, uh, we are continuing the Bullet Club versus Finn Juice feud here. It is Hickey Leo, uh, with Chris Bay taking on David Finley, uh, with Juice Robinson still, um, healing up from the knee injury. Um, this was a this is a good TV match. Uh, we do get David Philly getting the win uh, with a with a roll up. Um, it was it was a good TV match. Uh, this would be an underwhelming pay per view match if that makes sense. We do get a brawl after the match. Um, Chris, Chris Bay getting ready to be um, in the Doomsday Device. El Phantasmo makes his Impact Wrestling return, um, swings the momentum over for Bullet Club, and they stand tall. Um, love the addition here of El Phantasmo coming back to Impact. Um, this adds another solid, competent tag team to the division. Um, I know on this week's past WrestleCast, um, we were talking about who's in the tag team division to really combat um, with with the Good Brothers, or even just be a competent tag team, and I think any combination of Hikuleo or Fantasmo or Chris Bay would do the job. Um, we get another great Violent by Design promo. Um, it is on their YouTube page. I cannot do it justice. Um, essentially. Um, you know, the, Eric Young and Rhino have been clashing for a couple of weeks now. Um, and and he's saying that now is Rhino's time to make a decision uh, whether he wants to be the war machine again um, or whether he wants to go against Violent by Design. And they're going to get his answer next week. Cut to the back. Matt Cardona, Chelsea Green are being interviewed. Um, Matt Cardona says he is... He is done with the whole feud between him and Rohit. 
Uh, but Chelsea Green says if she isn't done, uh, she will be uh, taking on Rohit a little later in the show. Get a Sue Young uh, video vignette here. Um, it is now uh, her, Kimberly, and Brandy Loren. Um, and Sue Young is being offered souls. Um, but Brandy Loren gives her a red belt, like a, like a thick red, just like waist belt. Um, and it cuts away, but we do get a hint to what this could be later in the show. God bless. It feels like we're almost an hour into this show. We get match number two. Uh, Rohit Raju taking on Chelsea Green. Yeah, th this is just a kind of continue to push this feud a little bit. I don't know why. Um, I'm over it, as I said on Monday's uh, PW WrestleCast. Um, Rohit Raju does get the win um, with some help by the returning Raj Singh. We are getting the Desi Hit Squad back together um, to kind of build either this stable warfare or build some new tag teams. Either way, I love that concept. This match just didn't get it for me. The feud is old. It's a little stale at this point. Um, but I am content. Like, but like I said, Rohit Raju does get the win. Uh, Raj Singh does make the return and distracts Chelsea Green long enough. We do get uh, a video recap of Toby Morsey powerbombing Alicia Edwards at Victory Road on Saturday. We come, we go to commercial, we come back, um, Eddie has just taken out Moose, um, they're brawling, Sammy Callahan shows up, uh, they both take Moose out, um, they go off to find W. Morrissey. So now our next match is Rich Swan Willie Mack taking on Brian Myers um, and a partner of his choosing. Um, uh, he is kind of like the head of this kind of rookie stable now. Um, it is um, it is it is Zicky Dice. Uh, and then uh, it's the it's the lemon guy. I I don't care. I'm sorry. Um, the only thing I care about here is friend of the show's Zicky Dice. Honestly, um, but but Brian Myers come comes out with with his group, uh, Sam Beal, Lemon Man, uh, and then Zicky Dice uh, says these guys are too green to be in this match. So he brings out the newest member of his stable, and that's VSK. Uh, VSK is kind of a glorified jobber, but he looks the part more than the rest of them, honestly. Um, but it does not matter. Rich Swan and Willie Mack do get the win here. It's fine. Um, I, th I think that uh, I think that VSK held his own in this match. I think that we all thought that this was just going to be another kind of squash match, and he would be the one to eat the pin, which he did. Um, but but he does get his licks in here. Um, unfortunately, just not enough. Johnny Swinger in Swinger's Palace. Uh, he is upset that Impact is going to Vegas uh, for Bound for Glory. Um, he's saying that he just can't com compete with the Vegas casinos. Um, so one of the casino girls... I, I don't know what you call them. I I want to call them more, but I don't. I, I honestly don't know what they are. Um, says, have you just asked Scott Demore not to go to Vegas? Um, so he takes that route, um, and he dictates a letter that uh, Johnny Bravo is writing. He invites Scott Demore to his illegal underground casino, um, and then signs it not as Johnny Swinger, uh, but JJ Dillon. We see that Mickey James will be in the ring after we come back from commercial. Uh, we come back, and it's a vignette from the Good Brothers. Um, drinking wine, drinking whiskey, enjoying their vacation. Um, uh, they said they've beaten every team that Impact has to offer, including those in AEW. And it doesn't matter. Um, essentially, death taxes magic killer. After that Good Brothers promo, we get Mickey James to the ring. Um, she said making her return to Slamberg was an honor. Um, 
but her goal is to make women's wrestling uh, better and highlighting the incredible talent, including Deanna Perrazzo, um, but feels a little disrespected by Deanna. Um, they have a back and forth, um, but essentially we do get the announcement. It'll be Mickey James, Deanna Perrazzo at Bound for Glory. Um, I, I love this direction that we've been getting from Deanna Perrazzo. Um, essentially, she buzzsawed her way through the um, full-time talent in, in Impact Wrestling. Now they're bringing kind of these part-timers back to kind of eat the pin and put Deanna over. Um, I, I don't think Mickey will get the win and get the title. Um, I've been surprised before, though, so... Uh, so now we cut to the back. Eddie and Sammy have found W. Morrissey. Um, Scott Demore is here and breaks it up. He says next week, uh, Morrissey and Eddie Edwards in a street fight again. And then Morrissey says, hey, Eddie, how's your wife? And uh, brawl again. But um, cut to Gail Kim being interviewed about being in charge of the knockouts knockdown event. She does announce one match uh, to go on to the Monsters Ball match in honor of Daphne. Um, it is Tennille and Madison Rain um, taking on Jordan Grace and Rachel Ellering. Uh, the winner of that match will get uh, the next Knockouts Tag Team Championship match. And then we cut to the ring. It's match number four. It is our main event of the evening. Uh, it is Ace Austin versus Josh Alexander. Um, it's, it, it, it's good. It's exactly what you want it to be. It's exactly what you expect it to be. But then, you know, we get the post-match. There's just nothing stopping the team of Ace Austin, Madman Fulton. Uh, they're beating down Alexander. Christian Cage makes a save. Um, Alexander obviously upset that Christian Cage, um, came to make the save. Ace Austin and Madman Fulton come back out. Ace and Madman setting up for the choke slam fold, as they said on commentary, which I think is an excellent uh, name for their move. Um, but we do get a returning fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, um, comes to the ring, takes out Ace Austin, takes out Madman Fulton, um, and... Um, we get this strange three three way stare off between Daniels, Christian Cage, and Josh Alexander. Episode comes to an end. Um, we do find out on Impact's uh, YouTube and Twitter uh, that next week Daniels will make his in ring return, uh, taking on Madman Fulton. I'm going to give this a solid B minus. Um, no, C C plus. And I and I know that's really on the border. It's gonna be a C plus. Um this this show does a good job with sprinkling in um the recapping Victory Road and then immediately planting the seeds to get to Bound for Glory. Um everything is working to that. It's their it's their WrestleMania. Um but having four matches in a two-hour show, um, you know, and honestly, if I'm being honest, only one of them was above average. Um, uh, the um, Hikuleo and David Finley match was okay. Rohit Raju and Chelsea Green, like I said, I just don't care anymore. And the tag team match was... Um, was to put Rick Swan and Willie Mack over, um, so there wasn't really a whole lot there. Um, and everything in between, it was just a lot of dialogue. It was a little too much for me. Um, but that being said, it was an okay show. Um, I think it'll be very interesting to see how Christopher Daniels fits into this new Impact Wrestling. Uh, we haven't seen him in a handful of years. Uh, and we'll see where the road to Bound for Glory takes us because um, from last year to this year, um, it's a completely different landscape, and we're going to Vegas. So 
Um, that'll be another interesting uh, piece of this whole puzzle. I do appreciate you guys checking into the impactful review. Uh, please come back to our Facebook page Monday, 7 p.m. live, the PWO WrestleCast, the premier professional wrestling podcast. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.